tested on the positive. The positive is that, guess what? You guys know how crazy I am about photography and I know how excited you guys are about taking pictures. Now that we're not in a classroom on campus, you can use your phones like as much as you want. And photography in this day and age comes from your phone. I'm really, really, really excited about you guys being able to do some photography projects and I don't have to penalize you for it. So let's take advantage of this the best that we can. Another positive, if you have holes in your jeans, you can wear them. If you wanna wear your pajama pants, you can wear them. If you want to introduce me to your cat or dog, you can do it because I'm going to introduce you to Franklin and Simone in this video before I cancel it. And I know that all of your wildest dreams will be met. So these are our positives. We're going to stick with those and we're not going to even complain about any of the cons or negatives because that's not worth our energy or our time. So what I'm going to do now is share my screen with you and walk you through a PowerPoint that I have for your first project this week, and it might um, carry over into your second week, and that's fine. It's not going to be um, something I hold you that accountable for. I just want you to have these techniques available so that you know how to make your photographs better. A lot of times these days, photography with iPhones and cell phones and Instagram or chat, snap, Snapchat and stuff becomes nothing but selfies. And I know that at JWJ, you guys are better than that. And we can go above and beyond selfies. So the element of art that we're going to focus on for this project this week and probably next and maybe even the one after is going to be composition. And if you remember from your smartest artist vocabulary in quarter one, Composition is, in your definitions, um, the way that an artwork is laid out or organized. So you can see this PowerPoint, I hope, composition techniques for awesome photos and different ways to draw attention to your subject. So in your assignments um, tab, you should see your first assignment. I made it kind of fun and silly. It's about toilet paper because we're in a really crazy weird time and I want to make this as, you know, personable as possible. So today we'll discuss the advantages of going outside to take photos, find out what composition is, look at great examples of composition photos, share photos and review. The bottom two we're not going to do because I'm on a video. We're not going to share our photos. That part comes after I post or you post your projects. Um, the main idea, so, okay, what is composition anyway? That's the way that the stuff in your photograph is arranged, the elements, not even the elements of art, but just the stuff that you want to put in your picture. So in my assignment, I asked for you guys, and let me go back just so that you see the assignment first. I'm going to show this to you because just in case it doesn't show up right away, you'll see where your assignment is and what is expected of you. Um, it's not due until Friday. I figured if I assign one project on Monday and then it's due on Friday, that should be fair. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so toilet paper, photo project, composition emphasis. Now that we are not on campus, we can use our cell phones as much as we want for art projects. Um, steps to your first online art assignment are as follows. Number one, locate a roll of toilet paper, parentheses, get creative. You may use your family's entire stash of coronavirus TP or just one roll or just one square of toilet paper. And if all you guys found was napkins or paper towels, you can use that too. Ask permission to borrow it for a photography assignment for your art class. Number two, create a studio setup where you can shoot said toilet paper as though it's like a model in a magazine. 
for like a fashion ad. Keep in mind thinking about photography, or I mean background, lighting, complementary elements to the final picture, mostly composition. So I'm gonna attach a video that gives you more pointers for composition from a professional photographer. And I want you to watch that video to get full credit. That video will give you all of the tips you need. And then you get to shoot. So set up, like bring a stool over to your window. If you have blinds that are horizontal, adjust the blinds to where the shadows make really cool lines and shading and value on your toilet paper. Um, if you want to make it in a more like colorful setting, like use a tapestry or a blanket or a sheet or a dress or a sweater that you have, or maybe even like add in a pair of really cool shoes that could make your composition more interesting. What you want to work for is if a stranger is going through a book or a magazine and they see your photograph, you want them to stop on that photograph and that's the one they want to pause and look at even longer because your image and your artwork is that interesting. Um, and then you shoot. So the advice on your assignment, if you look in the assignments tab, is that you take about 24 pictures, but you only have to upload your top three, your favorite three. It shouldn't take too long. And I know some of us don't have fancy phones. Some of us might not even have a cell phone. And if you don't, just email me. You know that I'm super laid back and understanding about everybody's different situations. But if you do, just knock it out. It shouldn't take even the whole period that we have together. But 24 is the amount I feel like usually works because that's what in an old school film camera you would have 24 pieces of film and each one of those would make for a new negative and so if you have 24 to work from you can pick your top three and Frank Frank here Franklin hi everybody I love you I've always wanted to meet you <laughs> so if you pick your top three those are the ones that you're gonna upload to the smartest artist discussion board, not the one that says general, because that you do not have access to that one. And then you have full credit, and that's it. So super duper 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 fun, easy, I hope. Um, this PowerPoint here too, I'm switching back to it, it should be already uploaded to your class. And this one basically just goes over like how you make a successful composition and how you grab the attention of your viewer. It's so easy for us to go on YouTube or Pinterest or Instagram or wherever and like look up artists or graffiti or fashion design or whatever and find an artist that we find interesting, but what is it about that artist that grabs your attention? And that is the hook. You want to kind of get underneath your fingers so that you could have that same exact draw to anyone who's looking for the kind of art that you are making. I hope this makes sense. Um, I was gonna go through, here, I'll just show you a couple of these slides. I don't wanna go through the whole thing. I feel like I've already been talking for like 15 minutes and that's too much. And this is all really new to me too. So thank you for being very patient. Thank you for understanding that I'm not a technology person. Um, I would way rather be in class with you guys. I would so much rather be at school. Miss you all. Rule of thirds is one of the main ones. In the rule of thirds, it's basically like, those of you guys in robotics or geometry or math team, it's like um, where you split your picture into three. So if you can see my little um, arrow toggling here, this image here is split into three because this side is a landscape, this side is the main subject, and this middle part is kind of like the negative space. This one here is more like divided into two. However, if you go horizontally, kind of like our horizon line and vanishing point for perspective, this one is divided into three, <coughs> excuse me, not Corona, sorry. Um, 
but it's divided into three horizontally because of the background, the foreground, and the pup. This bottom one on the right here is probably my favorite. It's silhouetted, it has a really cool background, but the rule of thirds is used here because the main subject is on the left and the second and the third parts are left negative. Um, framing your image, if you want to include, if you see this top one on the left here, you can use, I mean like for this first project, your toilet paper is gonna be your first experimental project. And I'm going to focus hard on photography this last quarter because I'm allowed to and I think you guys are really good at it every one of you who's turned in photographs have won awards they're super strong successful images I think you guys naturally have an eye for it in your generation and I want to build on that and allow you that space to expand and grow and be celebrated for what you're good at so the bottom one on the left here you see these two tree trunks and that space in the middle it's that negative space that draws your eye in because you can't see the trunks. On the right here, using that natural like housing frame adds to that juxtaposition of this is, this is architecture, but it's also a human and she's a ballerina and she's dancing. So those are two like conflicting images. They look so good together though. Um, you can use lines, one of our main elements of art leading lines i know the beaches are closed but imagine those pictures you can get from like standing underneath a pier all of those posts all of those leading lines that draw your eye to where the focal point's going to be you could stand in the middle of a road on the side of a road and those white lines those yellow dotted lines those are leading lines that draw your eye to where the artist you want the attention to go so this might be a lot for just the first video and i know some of your other teachers um i'm going to cancel the share screen but i know some of, <coughs> excuse me some of your other teachers already did videos today so i felt a little behind the game but i, I want to catch up and i want to make this really fun for us all together um the first assignment's not going to be due until Friday at midnight, so there's really no rush. Um, please email me. You can message me uh, directly through Teams, and I will try my very, very best to be as accessible and available as possible. And please, please, please keep in mind that this is all very foreign to me, too. So some of you guys that help me with technology, I wish that I could have you in my virtual classroom assisting me with this stuff, but you're at home, as we all should be. So, any, um, and Mr. Scotty is here too, to help us all the time if we need him to, and he'll probably end up doing some lessons and examples and tutorials just to help out, because why not? Uh, I will show, can Simone come here? I will show the kitties, and I know some of you guys asked them to be dressed up in costumes. They don't really like that, if I'm being honest, but I would love to share them with you as much as I can. Let's just start one day at a time, okay? <coughs> I miss you all. I love you all. First assignment is check in tomorrow at 12.35 to your period and just say hi. Don't write extra stuff. Don't do that. It takes way too much of my time. Uh, second assignment is your first project. Check it out. It's in the class assignments tab. The video is hooked up. This video is linked. If you have anything that's not working, let me know. I will try to help you as much as I can. So I hope everybody had a really good first day in virtual duval digital homeroom we're all in this together 